Let me introduce myself. I'm Marty Levy, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon. <laughs> and I thought about that a lot because I think we're asking a lot of our PGY1s to try and execute, or PGY2s to execute, these things in high-pressure situations where they may have never seen a saw before, and now they're walking into an operating room, and someone hands them a thing that makes a whole lot of noise, shakes a lot, spit blood all over the place, and they're supposed to make a reasonable cut while the surgeon is screaming at them. So this gets me back to this slide. It seemed to me that the thing to do was to figure out the skills. And by the skills, I mean the component behaviors, the foundation behaviors. The other thing we knew after reading Carl's work is about fluency. And this whole thing of accuracy at speed, the time component of it. We recognized that that was going to be a way that we could, we could evaluate where we were in this ascent to fluency. And shortly after that phone call, I met Teresa. And what Teresa gave us was language was a way of talking about this, and she had methodologies that she had already constructed that we could steal. So we got together, my gang, who's Karen and Teresa, and we submitted a grant, and then we're fortunate enough to have this stuff published. And what we did is submit a grant to the ABOS, American Board of Orthopedic Surgery, and it was the aim of that project to enhance the learning of PGY1 orthopedic residents, foundational, foundational surgical skills, um, using an innovative and inexpensive modular teaching program, which I'll get to in this, uh, Carl, that's the part you want to pay attention to, um, that uses positive operant learning techniques, adapts to a variety of learning environments, and because of its low cost, allows for meaningful repetition. Okay, there's a lot in there. So, as I said, the first part of this was the aim of the project was to create a teaching program that uses positive operant learning methodology. Um, so I'm going over this again. You've heard this all day. A composite skill is a complex behavior. To achieve fluency with a complex behavior, that is to create a behavior that has both accuracy and speed, each of the component behaviors must be fluent. Carl's responsible for that. Surgical tool skills are complex behaviors that can be broken down into component or foundational behaviors. We could do the same thing we did with the Frisbee or those of you who are here this morning in a baseball swing. They can be broken down into elements and then those behaviors can be taught to fluency using operant methodologies. They can be chained back together to form fluent complex The behaviors. kids that have gone through the the programs, uh, there are three, three years that have gone through it now. It's different for them. Um, the way they interrelate is wholly different because they spend a month living with each other in a room and helping each other and swapping people and figuring out and who's, and, and, and it, it just, it, it's, it, it really changes the society. What happened was, this is really cool when this happens, they, they sent me the PGY1s and I trained them for a day and then I got a phone call um, from Mark and he said, look, you got to train my twos. They're pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, OK, I'm good. That's a good thing. I like that. So the take home message is positive operant learning enhances skill acquisition. To build a fluent complex behavior, fluent foundation behaviors must be built first. This means teach the tool skills before you teach the procedures. The tag teach inspired scripts result in improved communication, teaching skills between teachers and students and between students and students. And finally, with this method, behavior acquisition is precise, rapid, and readily transferred. You saw a learner knot. I got to tell you, it took us days to learn knots. We can teach a surgeon's knot in 10 minutes. Readily transferred from the laboratory to the operating room using performance cues. Finally, to build a fluent complex behavior, fluent foundation behaviors must be built first. Frankly, I, I loved all the talks today. Every one of them was important. But if this is all you go home with, this is what counts. <laughs>